Hi, this is Kathy Smith with Contigo Realty and azsmithproperties.com and we're doing a property blog tour of 13203 West Solano Drive in Litchfield Park located in the beautiful Dreaming Summit community. The property that we're touring today is a three bedroom in addition to a den, two and a half bath, and has approximately 3,232 square feet. You'll notice that these are most of these homes are located on a third of an acre lot. This particular lot size is approximately 15,639 square feet, which is 0.36 of an acre. You'll notice the RV gate in this property, and I did verify when you look at the video that it is an unobstructed behind the RV so that you can easily get um, your toys in and out of the backyard. You'll notice that these homes include seven foot dramatic doorways when you first enter the property. We're gonna take a look at the front foyer area that enters, opens up into the formal dining and living room area. I think it's important to see the condition of the other homes surrounding your area. So that's what I'm doing here on this tour. And then I'm also trying to get um, the porch area as well so that you get a feel for the paint because the exterior paint is is in great condition the interior paint is also in great condition throughout cosmetically speaking this home shows meticulously the current owner used to work for Hunter Douglas so you'll notice that a lot of the uh, window coverings are actually going to be automatic where they're remote controlled and the sunscreens are upgraded sunscreens and they're located on every window with the exception of the front windows. I need to also let you know that the front window actually has a timer so the window shade will actually open and shut whenever you program it. Um, also in the front foyer area what's really pretty is the ceiling. There's a coved ceiling above. These are 12 foot ceilings. The carpet and the flooring is in excellent condition and it's very neutral. Um, there's some upgraded padding in there so it's nice and plush. When I said the window has an automatic um, timer on it, I'm referring to the uh, main window above the couch in the formal living room area, not the side window by the door, just to let you know. So we're doing a panoramic view of the front living and foyer area. This is a split floor plan. So the master bedroom, that's actually a coat closet right there, and the master bedroom is gonna be located on the east side of the home, away from all the secondary bedrooms. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and take a look at here. The master bedroom features the recessed lighting above the bed area that you're seeing here. It also features its own uh, private uh, access to the backyard pool area, as you will see here. You'll notice here in a moment that the alarm system is owned. It does convey with the property. You would just have to get additional monitoring for uh, to service the alarm system. And it also has uh, attached to the wall the, um, the remote for your windows. The master bath area has a ton of benefits. First of all, there's dual master sinks. 
to the left you have your uh, a sink and then to the right you're gonna have your sink in addition to the vanity area where you can insert a chair uh, and then also you have a separate jetted uh, tub in addition to the stand-up shower that has the Corian surround uh, which complements both the countertops as well as the actual bathtub area. There's also a separate water room, separate toilet room if you will, and also please note that the flooring in this area is carpeted. I'd like to point out the little niche area that you see to the right of the master walk-in closet. When Nicholas Holmes originally built this community, this particular floor plan was not modeled. However, in a lot of the models, they do include this little niche area, and they actually, when they modeled the homes, the models that they did have modeled, they actually had that set up as a coffee bar. So it was really nice to be able to wake up and have your coffee right there. And you'll notice in the master walk-in closet, what's really nice is the, um, the natural lighting that comes in. You don't get that in a lot of closets. So I think that's really um, a nice touch. Okay, so now we're um, gonna go ahead and head over to the other wing of the house. We're gonna go through the dining and living room, formal areas, to the great room kitchen open concept with the eat-in kitchen area that's there by the patio. A couple of things to note about the kitchen. It has obviously beautiful finishes, the granite countertops, the uh, 42 inch upper uh, cabinets, the uh, also the lighting pendants um, and then in lieu of microwave they actually have the floating uh, vent above the gas stove the gas stove uh, is marketed as having a double oven I'm gonna go the the double oven on top is actually I believe a bread warmer because it's a little bit smaller or you could do you know it's a little bit smaller in size so we definitely want to point that out you also have your undermount uh, sink and a nice size island there there you have a close-up of the upgraded undermount sink I also want to let you know that the sellers are not uh, the refrigerator that you see there is not conveying nor is the washer and dryer in this particular listing Definitely a Costco walk-in size kitchen pantry here. Okay, now we're transitioning over to the west side of the home. This little hallway right here leads to the secondary bedrooms, as well as the garage access and your laundry room facility, which is really nice. They have the cabinets, the built-in cabinets. There's also room for a little beer refrigerator, if you will, um, so and um, an additional freezer if you need it. We're heading out to the three-car garage, and please note where you see the red car, you're going to find that that is an extended size garage area, so if you, if you drive a truck or you have an extended cab, um, you you would be able to fit in there with ease. It's also epoxied, um, the flooring, and there is the soft water loop which conveys with the property, as well as the gas uh, water heater with 
the recirculation pump so you will always have hot water. Also, the uh, built-in cabinets in the garage as well as the workbench right there is it was just at, recently added. There's also uh, a door exterior leading to the back. We're heading back down the hallway now. I need to point out that the garage is conveniently located by the kitchen. So when you're lugging groceries back and forth, you're coming straight from the garage to the kitchen. And now we're taking a look at the hallway to the right, which leads to the secondary bedrooms and bathrooms. This is a great uh, secondary bedroom. It's got two twin size um, beds in there. There's also a walk-in closet, so that's really nice. And obviously these window coverings are not uh, remote controlled. However, they are the Hunter Douglas, so they're, they're pretty nice. We're heading into the Jack and Jill bathroom. My favorite part about this bathroom is they did it right. First of all, they have dual sinks in there, which is great for resale. Also, the separate uh, water room, if you will, which includes the shower and toilet are separated from the vanity areas. So this is really, really nice. You have the frosted tint sliding glass doors so they don't get spotty. And the countertops are consistent with the granite slab that's in the kitchen. We're veering off to the third bedroom, which is a secondary bedroom that is adjacent to the Jack and Jill. You're gonna notice also that this has a wonderful, nice size closet as well. A lot of secondary bedrooms don't have not all the rooms are going to have the walk-in closet, so that's really nice about this particular house. Okay, so now we're heading over to the den, which would be considered, you know, the area that you could convert into a bedroom, which would make it actually a four-bedroom house. They did do the setup right. They actually have a nice size walk-in closet, and also um, this is a Cox communication high-speed internet uh, subdivision, so you won't be dealing with CenturyLink or Quest in this one. Each window in this house is gonna have a different type of window covering, but I was trying to show you in some of the windows that the mesh that's located in between those, uh, the the blinds itself so that you can turn them up or down to block out the sun. Also, um, the windows on the, uh, every window in the house, with the exception of the front windows, have upgraded sunscreens to help block the sun out. This lot faces north-south, but you'll notice that the backyard is gonna face south. The pony wall that you see there is leading into the family great room. Okay, we're checking out the half bath or AKA powder room. So, and also incidentally, I forgot to mention that all the toilets in the house are elongated. In this half bath, they uh, did the tile enhancement in addition to the river rock that's included at the vanity. Okay, now we've transitioned into the family room with, again, the open concept with the kitchen and the Eden uh, kitchen area as well. You'll notice the fireplace is gas. There's an entertainment niche. And actually, we're taking a look at the back patio right now. They had their swim towels out there. But um, we're gonna do, the second half of our video is going to include uh, the backyard. Thanks so much.